Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to the message here that I'm labeling for February 27th. I'm labeling it in time for the 27th where I am, but depending on where you are, 27th may have come and gone, or you may not see this for a few weeks or months or years. So I'm setting the intention that this be a message for you for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. Happy birthday to all the February 27th babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever random day you might fall upon this video. The card we have coming up here for the collective is the Nine of Wands. Now, Nine of Wands can come up in a few different ways. Nine of Wands can tell us that we're really, really close to the finish line in a situation. Like if we're asking, oh my goodness, how much longer? How much longer do I have to do this? Or like, when is this going to finally be done? We can look at 10 as the number of completion. 10 is like the last step, the last level done, right? 10 is mission accomplished. So nine says you're at nine. No sense in giving up at nine when 10 is, you know, done, finished. So this is telling us that we're very, very close. Like just keep going, just one more push and you're there, right? One more push and you're at the finish line in terms of like when or how much longer. This is also a card that comes up to tell us that um, we don't have to be scared uh, to embrace or accept new opportunities. Uh, you know, maybe we're feeling like we want to open up and try to find soul family, friendships, uh, partnerships for business, uh, a love relationship, you know, or we just want to uh, make some kind of a change and we're scared that we're going to make the wrong decision. Nine of Wands tells us it's not our first rodeo, okay? We have been through everything. We've seen everything. And all we need to do is allow our experience to serve as our guide in our decision-making process. You already know what the red flags are. You already know what to look out for. So as long as you're being alert and you pay attention, you're not going to make the wrong decision. You're not going to let the wrong person in. You're going to know pretty early on, Up, oh, I know this. I've seen this before, right? This person reminds me of that one boss that was real shady. This person reminds me of that one ex that was a total um, a liar and a cheater. You know, like you pick up things about the energy. You're like, I know this energy. I've experienced this energy before. I know what the, I see the signs here. No, I'm not going to do this again, right? Or you might say, okay, this is nice. This is refreshing. This, this person is legit. This person's for real. I'm going to give this a chance. But you don't have to be scared. You don't have to keep yourself uh, in this little cage or like, you know, in this little box hiding away from the world because you're scared that you're going to let in the wrong person or opportunity. You're not because you know what to look out for. And when you see those warning signs, you're going to say, nope, this isn't it. And then you see something else and you're going to say, oh, this is it. This, this is this is the thing that I'm going to move forward with. You can trust yourself to make the right decisions as long as you are allowing your experience to guide you. There's absolutely positively nothing new under the sun anybody can come at you with. You've seen every lie, every dirty little trick in the book, every little manipulation. You know what to look out for. And you will make the right decision as long as you're paying attention and allowing your experience to guide you. Nine of Wands can also come up when we have a situation where We've made a decision or we're doing something that other people do not agree with. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Nine of Wands came up a few days ago, fairly recently. So this card is really being emphasized. This message is really being emphasized. And the card is saying here to protect what you've worked for, to protect what you have. You've manifested a big change in your life. Whether it's you embracing your authenticity and going down a new path or embracing uh, new beliefs, a new way of life, a new way of, of living, of being, a business you started, a relationship you've manifested. There could be people who are not in agreement that you're doing this. They don't like it. 
And nine of wands says you worked for this. Protect it. Protect it and keep it going. That being said, um, we don't have to protect it in, in, in a way where we're taking the offense. See how he's just standing there? He's, he's just, he's alert. He's ready to fight if he needs to, but he's not looking for fights. He's not chasing after that person. He's not looking to uh, initiate or start something. He's just simply standing there, alert, ready to protect his space, his property. He's not chasing after anyone. He's not fighting. He's not antagonizing. He's not saying anything. You better not come over here. You better not come over here. You're going to see what happens to you if you come over here. No, he's just, he's in his lane, minding his own business. And if he needs to address something, he's going to address something. But the thing about the defense, it's more about blocking. It's not about engaging. It's not about fighting. He's, you know, you don't have to, you can let somebody tire themselves out. You don't have to convince them. You don't have to argue with them. You don't have to say, I'm going to prove to you that I'm right. Or this is why I'm doing this. They don't care why you're doing it. They just want you to stop. So instead of putting in the energy in trying to convince somebody, trying to change their mind, trying to get them to be on board with it, or trying to get them to support you, or trying to get them to stop saying things or criticizing. If we're fighting with them for that, it's it's not going to... It's not going to help. It's just going to keep the fighting going and it's going to keep us from enjoying this wonderful thing that we've manifested. So instead of putting your energy into fighting whoever's coming at you, maybe you're going to tire them out by just blocking it. You're not going to engage. You hear them, but you're not going to engage. You're not going to give a response. You're not going to argue. You're not going to take offense. You're going to let them, you know let the wind run out of their sails and eventually they're going to get tired of saying the same thing over and over again especially when they see they're not getting a reaction from you that you're not engaging with them and you you preserve your energy you save your energy to put your energy into this wonderful new thing you've manifested this wonderful new path that you're going down now So we don't have to fight. We don't have to be in battle. We don't have to tire ourselves out. All we need to do is be in our alert stance and block. That's it. You just block. You just, I'm not taking that in. I'm not accepting that. I'm not choosing to, you know, uh, internalize that. You might not tell the person that because you just want them to, you know, get tired and, 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 and say what they need to say and, and go away. You don't want to keep it going. But you don't have to exhaust yourself. You don't have to be scared to take chances. Because you know what to look out for and you will make good decisions. Uh, you might want to check out your... Uh, or the other readings that are on the channel, those are linked in the description. Uh, a link to schedule a private reading with me is in the description. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead. Take care and be well.